Hey guys, welcome back. So in our previous video, we installed macOS Sonoma and macOS Ventura on virtual machines on Mac using the UTM application. So you can browse through these videos on our YouTube channel. So this is the video for the macOS Ventura on virtual machine on Mac. And this is the video for the macOS Sonoma. But today we will be installing macOS Monterey on Mac using the UTM application. So let's dive in. So setting up Mac OS Monterey in a virtual machine on your Mac M1 or M2 with UTM allows you to experiment with the operating system without worrying about affecting your primary OS. Whether you want to test softwares, update packages or learn more about the Mac OS, running it on a virtual machine provides a safe and secure environment. So first, let's talk about the required files. So we need Mac OS Monterey IPSW firmware file. So you can simply go to my website and look for Monterey IPSW. So you can see that these are the files that you can download. Please note that these links are hosted on Apple servers. The speed of your downloads will depend on your internet connection. A stable internet, high speed internet connection is required to download the macOS Monterey IPSW files. So simply click on this file and you can download it. So as I have already downloaded this file, so I am skipping this process. So the next step is to install the UTM for Mac. So simply go on Google and search for UTM for Mac. Go to the official website of the UTM. Click on this download button. Click allow and download the UTM application. So once the UTM application is downloaded, you can simply, so I'm skipping this process as I've already downloaded these files. So the next step is to go to your launchpad and open the UTM application. So once the application is open, you have to create a new virtual machine. So simply click this plus icon, click on virtualize, select Mac OS 12 plus. Now you have to import the IPSW file that you have currently downloaded. So simply click on browse and select the file that we have downloaded and click open. So once the file has been uploaded, you can see that there is a hardware tab. So under memory section, you have to increase it to 8 GBs and under CPU cores, you have to increase it to 4. So this is basically set based on your requirements. Once done, simply click continue. Now you have to specify the storage size. So 64 GB is enough. So you can keep the default 64 GBs and click on the continue button. Next, you have to name your virtual machine. So I am keeping it macOS Monterey by techreacher.com and click on save. You can leave and skip all of these and click on save. So once this is done, now, I, now you have to simply start your virtual machine. So you can either click here or click here. Simply confirm, click OK. And now you can you can ignore this Mac DFU mode error. So simply close this. Now you can see that the installation process has started. So this will uh, take around three to four minutes. So let's wait for a while. So as you can see that the installation is almost complete and then you will be redirected to the hello page. So can simply click this icon, select your language. So I'm keeping it English India, click this arrow. Now these are the basic installation steps of any Mac OS. So select your region. For me, it's India. Click on continue. You can leave it as it is. Click on continue. Not now. 
click on continue so I don't want to migrate anything simply click on not now you can also sign in using your Apple ID so for now I am skipping this process so you can simply click set up later now you have to accept the terms and conditions click on agree agree again now you have to create a computer account so I'm keeping it techrichard.com type in your account name and your password once done click on continue you can either enable the location services or you can also skip this step simply click on continue don't use now select your time zone so for that you have to simply click on the location in the map so since I am based in New Delhi I have clicked somewhere near India so click on continue once done click continue again and click set up later you can ignore this as well click on continue now you can choose your look you can choose the light theme dark theme or the auto theme so for now I am keeping it dark and click on continue so now you can see that you are running mac os ventura in a utm virtual machine on your mac m1 and m2 now you can update and install any application as you would do on a physical mac so you can see that we are on the latest version of mac os Muntari. so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed the video for more mac and windows related queries do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned thank you